Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave, and I really don't know what I'm doing this evening other than I'm gonna fiddle and see where it takes me. The 3662 automatic refrigerated milk car. From what I've read, this car was available for quite a long time. Don't think these are the original trucks. I believe it either came with bar end trucks or later AAR trucks, I think they call them. So somebody must have swapped this truck out at some point, which would make sense because this one's a bar end and this one's a staple end. So this one was probably replaced. But anyway, I have four of these. I never run them. They're really heavy because the mechanism inside. I like them. I want to run them more regularly, but I can't with all that weight in there. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to open them up. Uh, take out the mechanisms and decide if I'm going to put one back together to original state or just keep them all stripped. Uh, looks like I already removed the mechanism from this one. <laughs> Explain why it was lighter. Uh, it wasn't even held on properly, just squeezed through the hole. That's probably one of the reasons why I didn't run it, because it probably derailed. I remember one of them having an issue. Well, I'll have to see if I can find another bar end truck. And I don't have one handy that's not a complete corroded, rusted piece of garbage. So I'll put that base to the side for now. Let's go for another one. You know, before I take it apart, how much does it actually weigh? One pound, 5.6 ounces. Let's compare that to this more modern Lionel car. Not even a pound, 13 ounces. So that is a significant difference. 5.7, this is the lighter car. It doesn't have the date on the side and it has the plastic trucks. So that's actually a little bit lighter. 1.45 instead of 1.56. Either way, heavy. Why is it heavy? Well, look at this monster of a mechanism. I believe it comes apart in pieces because it would be too easy for it to just come out in one piece. Okay, so we've got those two screws, the one that holds the top on. Uh, this is a good thing to check if you ever buy any. Oh, look at that. <laughs> As I was saying, this is a good thing to check if you ever buy any of these cars, either these bigger ones or the smaller milk cars, is to take this top off and see if any of the milk containers are in there. I would much rather it came out in all one piece, but it does not. Just for curiosity's sake, shell is roughly four ounces, 14 ounces. And that's more in line with what I'd like to see for one of my box cars. Much better than one pound and almost six ounces. I'd rather pull more cars than lug these heavy ones all around. I wouldn't mind cleaning these up, but I'm a little hesitant with this, with the white car. I don't know, I just feel like it'd be easy to damage. Who's ever seen a clean white box car anyway? Taking things apart is always an interesting way to learn about how they work. Sometimes it's a frustrating way, but eh, whatever. So with the parts removed, 14.5 ounces. With them installed, a full one pound, 5.4 ounces. So that's why I'm taking the stuff out. So this is the later version of the car. Inside, there are these strips that are holding the springs in place. I don't know if that's original or if somebody put that in. The 
spring also seems a little stronger. Also, you can see the coil is a different color. Green on the newer one, gold on the older one. Well, I found a donor for a bar end truck. And that would be this. It's a base for one of the New York Central gondola cars. And it's a bit mangled, and then this truck's missing pieces anyway. I can sacrifice a truck for that. Especially since this is the project at hand. The project at hand is always more important than the project that I'm not working on. So that car will just have to wait for another day. Well, that's good enough. This is why that door won't stay closed. Hmm, that's good enough. Maybe. So that leaves me with a pile of pieces. I'm not gonna throw them out, obviously. I'll hang on to them, because you know, one day I might wanna put the cars back together. These are my cars. This is my railroad. I, I'm gonna use the cars and the engines and everything else the way that I feel like using them. Because really, that's what's important. So, did I just ruin the value of these cars? Yes. Do I care? Not in the least, because I wasn't running them and I like them. So, I have a box of parts. Maybe I sell them, maybe I hold on to them. But either way, I get to run my cars and that is what makes me happy.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.